You see, you have two realms in this world, you know, the realm of Maya and the realm of the divine realm. So everything which is bound by limitation is the world of Maya, which include the mind, the intact, your emotion, you know, and your body, your senses, and uh, so on. They are all bound by Maya. And then you have your Atma, which is divine. So you have this too inside of you. Sometimes your Atma is reminding yourself, you know, what is the most important thing in life? And you have that deep feeling. But do you listen to that? No, you don't. Because the, the world of Maya have disguised herself so wonderful, you know, so attractive, so mesmerizing, so joyful. But you think that, yes, I will be happy. And it's easy to listen to that world. It's easy to divert toward that because that mind is the same as Maya. You know, they vibrate in the same frequency. So it's very attractive. The more you let yourself, that, that mind, be attracted to the world, more you're entangled into it. Doesn't mean that your soul will not remind you, it will. But how many people really follow that? Very few. So this is two worlds of opposite. You see? And uh, these two worlds of opposite, you see, Bhagavan Krishna talk about uh, the Karma Yoga, Jnana Yoga and Raja Yoga. No? So this is a free kind of people that exist, a free quality which exists inside, you know. But he talk also the divine quality, which is not bind by anything. So your Atma, what it is? Product of Maya or product of God? Huh? So what I where is your Atma leading you? In the world or outside? No, it is your mind that is leading you outside. Atma is always have only one aim. You see, the Atma doesn't have two aims. The ha Atma doesn't. Uh, the Atma is not attached to anything here. It is the mind that is attached to everything. 